Eric with an NFL Network special. The Rams and the 49ers here from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. Big game tonight. We welcome you to the broadcast booth. Charles Davis is my partner, and I'm Kevin Burkhardt. And Charles, all year long, these 49ers, 11 wins. They've been driven by their defensive line, and the first time they played the Rams, the D-line dominated that game. And they expect to do the exact same thing tonight. They haven't gotten home as much lately and gotten the quarterback on the ground because they've played some quarterbacks who've gotten rid of the ball fast or escaped with their legs. But as defensive end Nick Bosa told us, they believe for Jared Goff, the Rams quarterback, the pressure is his kryptonite. And they expect to put it on him in this game. Meanwhile, for the for Goff and the Rams, it's kind of hard to figure out who they are. A couple weeks ago, they absolutely manhandled Seattle. And then last week, they go to Dallas and they get crushed. So who are we going to see tonight? A little Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, right? They expect to see Dr. Jekyll. Remember that same quarterback, Jared Goff? He's from Northern California. He generally plays well here in this atmosphere. He thinks they've got a good game plan tonight. He needs his stars to come along with him. Todd Gurley and Cooper Cup, they need big games from them. And with more, we go down to the field. The third member of our broadcast team, as usual, Pam Oliver. Well, Kevin, two coaches and how they feel they can win this ball game. Sean McVay told us it's about winning early downs. He says if we're able to do that, we'll be in good shape. His message to the players, just go out there and fight. Kyle Shanahan, meantime, the onus is on his defense. He says the defense has got to play well. When that group plays well, then the 49ers are hard to beat. Aaron Donald blocking him is a bit of a concern. He told us that that defensive tackle for the Rams is incredible, violent, and incredibly hard to stop. Back to you. Well, Pam, here's what's at stake tonight. There's a lot, actually. The 49ers control their own destiny to get the number one overall seed. They need wins the last two games, including tonight. And then there's more to that. For the Rams, they still can make the playoffs. Look, they need help. They've got to win the final two games, and they need the Vikings to lose both games at home. Granted, they're 6-0 at home on the year, but there is a chance for the Rams to still get there.